Hello, warm greeting to whoever is watching this video. In this video, I will try to explain my final year project, Microfluidic Based Dielectrophoresis Cell Sorter, and I'm going to talk about all the results that I obtained. So, we know that cancer is a deadly disease. In fact, it is the second leading cause of death all around the world, and a prediction by the American Cancer Society speculated that by 2040, around 29.5 active cases of cancer will be reported. So, in order to detect and diagnose cancer at an early stage, the state of our traditional methods like X-ray, blood test, biopsy is carried out. The problem with these methods is that they come with disadvantages like taking a long time to get the results of the report and loss of information from the samples that are taken. And of course, it's quite painful. So in this project, we will try to design a microfluidic chip based on dielectrophoresis that will give real-time data about cancer cells. And we will try to characterize that chip and we will of course try to implement to separate the cancerous cells, circulating tumor cells in this case, from red blood cells, which is considered to be the normal cells. So the method we used here is microfluidics. So microfluidics is a basic, basically the science of fluid manipulation on very small scale, like micro or nanometer. So it actually offers to manipulate small volumes of fluid to control biological processes. So, so there are many approaches and methods that can be taken with microfluidics in order to operate cell sorting. The specific method we used for this uh, project is called field flow fractionation. So basically what happens is DEP force is caused due to non-uniform electric field. So the CM factor in the DEP force actually depends on the permittivity of the particle and the medium. So it means that particles with different sizes will also face different DEP force. So in our case, since RBC, the red blood cells and the CTCs, the circulating tumor cells, which is the cancer cell, have different diameters of spheres. So they have effects of DEP force on them actually are different. So this causes them to be located at different outlets. So, and so in this project, actually, we could successfully design two functional devices that could perform the separation of cancer cells from normal cells successfully. So if we look at the designs, they have almost similar uh, dimensions and uh, the inlets and the outlets are same. We have two inlets and two outlets, one for the cancer cell CTCs and the other is for the red blood cells. Uh, the only difference is that in the first design, we have parallel electrodes on both of the both side of the channel. And for the second design, we have only single sided electrodes with five degree of tilt. So these are few of the parameters that were involved for getting the results we obtained. So we kept the frequency at 100 kilohertz and the electrical properties and everything else is defined by the cells that were used in the sample justification of the designs that we suggested in this study so firstly for the first design if you see that in this in this one we tried to put the electrodes parallel to each other exactly opposite to each other here and as we can see that both the particles end up in outlet one so it's the separation actually fails so what we did for our design is that uh, we shifted the electrodes in the bottom array 20 micrometer from each other so that the DEP force is not cancelled by each side of the electrodes and for the second one we tried to use one inlet and we could see that since there is no a second inlet where the di hydrodynamic force is exerted to make the cancerous cell float uh, to upwards so this one actually shows that the, both the particles also end up in the same outlet so that the uh, due to the cancer cell uh, sinking down. So we tried to understand the sustainability of the both devices. So for the first one, uh, first parameter we took was the electric potential. We wanted to see the distribution of it. So it, it was seen that both the designs had almost similar um, electric potential distribution. Uh, since we, we provided 10 volt peak to peak for this uh, study, so both the designs have almost similar distribution except for the fact that uh, at the outlets for design two, uh, the polarity is different than design one. For the pressure part, we wanted to see 
how much pressure both the designs can actually sustain so for the design one it was around 4.9 pascal and for design two it was a bit higher at 5.3 pascal so it shows that the highest pressure is actually in the inlets due to the hydrodynamic force and all for the fluid flow velocity it was identical for three of the designs in another design what we try to do is we try to tilt the electrodes for the single sided uh, electrodes we try to tilt it 5 degree more at 10 degrees 10 degrees so it was still the same and as for the observation of the voltage that was needed to uh, achieve optimal separation of the device uh, it was in the 10 volt volt peak to peak was the minimum requirement uh, for this device to work and function well uh, and also when voltage of 30 or above was applied uh, the cells were damaged uh, due to a phenomenon called joule heat effect and so finally the most important part of the results is the particle separation uh, which means how much uh, particles were able were, we were able to extract from the mixture of cancer cell from normal cells so for design one uh, the efficiency was quite high at 88 percent so 88 percent of the cancer cells could be extracted at the outlet and for design two the efficiency was quite poor although the processing time was almost similar so in the next part uh, you will be shown the uh, simulation of the whole process So before wrapping up this video, I would like to mention all the things that have been achieved in this project. The design of a functional microfluidic chip has been achieved. The sustainability test also have been done. And the highest efficiency achieved by this device was 87%. And for future scope, the designs can be optimized further and the chip can be fabricated. Thank you very much for watching this video.